And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a Caitlyn Path of Champions adventure. We are going to try to defeat Nautilus. Uh, we're going to have our you know, our normal uh, Caitlyn deck here. We're currently at uh, level 12 with Caitlyn. I have defeated the other champions up to Nautilus, but haven't defeated Nautilus yet. We tried one time yesterday. Uh, we're not successful. We lost to Nautilus. We got all the way there but lost. And so I have I have kind of gotten some some more reputation uh, than just, you know, undefeated all the time because I think I lost to like Gangplank or another another champion also with Caitlyn once. So we're at uh, reputation rank 12. So we're going to have our four rerolls and we got a rare relic slot. Um, as far as our relic, we're going to be using again just like with Jace this when I survive damage grant me plus 2 plus 2, but it actually wasn't really that important whenever we face Nautilus yesterday. I just don't have anything else here that I like really, really love. I could honestly kind of see just using Spell Shield. Normally, Ravenous Hydra is amazing with Caitlyn when I'm summoned deal one to all enemies, but of course in the Nautilus adventure, all your enemies are tough, and so it just nullifies the effect from the Ravenous Hydra. So I, I, there's none of these that I just absolutely love. You know, like the zero cost champion spell, it's only just the deal two, but if they're tough, it's only deal one. You know, like that's not really that worth it. Um, and I, I, I'm interested in this bounty hunter's renown. You know, plus one, plus one for every 200 gold you have. Um, but I don't know. I like spending the gold <laughs> to help make the deck better. So we're just gonna go with this berserker's buckle. But I could see going with the banshee's veil with the spell shield. Anyway, let's go ahead and give it a try. This is a very, very difficult adventure for Caitlyn because Caitlyn's ability is to um, get all the flash bomb traps out there and with every single unit having tough this is a very difficult ability so let's see what um, power we are rewarded with okay so all of our allies have plus one plus zero that's not bad um, I don't really care about either of those common powers so all allies having plus one plus zero that does help against these tough units I do have four rerolls now so we can really re-roll here and look for better powers. Is that going to be the best power that... Like, is that going to be good enough? Or do we need to re-roll? That's the question. All right, looking at our deck. Uh, the Sting Officer is going to have this Targon's Brace. It's now a Warchef's also. I think I think we'll go ahead and take it. I think we'll, we'll keep our re-rolls. We'll go ahead and take all of our units getting plus one, plus zero. All right, and let's start it off. The Roar of the Sea. Find the beast below. So Static Shock's the worst card in our deck. It's four mana draw card. <laughs> you know, like... It is not very good, but so we'll have a Stude Academic into Sting Officer into Double Agent. That doesn't sound too bad. It's no Caitlyn, right? Like I could see sending the Double Agent back and looking for Caitlyn, but especially having the attack token round one, let's certainly keep this a Stude Academic. And of course, we're going to want to have uh, cart, cart to support with that. Uh, I think I'll just take the two. Yeah, we'll just take the two. I can see all the players from here. All right, so double agent will strike, draw a card. And then once it draws a card, then the astute academic gets another plus one plus zero. Give me the stuff. Stuff makes happy. <laughs> oh man, those are slow toss animation. Did they change the speed of the toss animation? Well, what have we here? I'm actually kind of liking this power. I guess this power is pretty nice. Plus one, plus zero to all this stuff. All right, so they're super long ways away from deep. We definitely want to kill that. Um, the other stuff, though... 
Yeah, I mean, we need to just get rid of blockers and stuff. Change of plans. I, mean, I could, I could really just trade with everything and just have all their stuff die. It only cost me two units, but then I think that's actually not that bad. So the Caitlyn got the plus two, plus two for surviving damage. Might help, might not. Alright, so they're at 17. How much can I do here? Love it. Level up the Caitlyn. There we go. Them hitting those three flash bomb traps was perfect there, leveling up the Caitlyn and then getting that extra damage. Okay. Got through the first one. Uh, unscathed. For the most part. Uh, I mean, I guess. I like Chump Bump gets the Mushroom Clouds, and Mushroom Clouds are pretty useful. Assembly Line's also pretty useful, though. I guess we just go with the Chump Bump and grab Mushroom Clouds. That'll be extra traps. I don't love this. I could definitely use. I could definitely use a reroll here. It's not like the, like the chump bump's just like a regular old body. Like it's not like that important. We already have like four drops. Yeah, let's just use a reroll because a lot of times they give you a champion here. Okay, no champion, but aloof travelers. We'll take aloof travelers. Wild claws is nice with Caitlyn though. Um, you know, you can have a big Caitlyn strike and then get more traps and everything like that, but. I don't know. Because I'm worried about... Alright, so if we think about like the very last battle against Nautilus, right? Aloof Travelers would be very good at having them discard their Nautilus, right? That's what. So that's why I'm thinking that we should take Aloof Travelers. Yeah, let's do that. And plus, I guess Aloof Travelers is also good with all these traps, right? Because then they draw more traps. Because they draw a card. So that's actually... Yeah, so that makes sense. Alright, who do we have? Aurelian Soul, Gangplank, and Vladimir. Aurelian Soul? Man, we can go really big with Aurelian Soul, but I don't, I don't know if we need Aurelian Soul. Vladimir seems kind of nice. No. No. No, I don't think I like any of these, honestly. I think we can do better. We're going to use a reroll here. Alright, so Jarvan, Cataclysm, Gallant Rider... Doombreaker, Azir, Sandcrafter, Sonic Wave, Scales, Lee Sin. Okay, for Lee Sin, I don't think I'm playing enough spells, am I? Not really. The Jarvan, I, I don't think I'm going to take Jarvan, honestly. I think that's where we're going to go. I, you know, Cataclysm and Sonic Wave are kind of the same card. I like them both. Uh, you know, they both work really well with Caitlyn. Um, and so then you have Scales of the Dragon versus Gallant Rider. Eh. You know, like, <laughs> either one's fine. You know, like, neither neither is very good, to be honest. Like, neither one's good. So, whatever. And then, you know, like, the champions. I think I'm going to just take this Jarvan. They can come in and eat, eat up big sea monsters, right? Because, like, we have to always be worried about big sea monsters. And I think Jarvan may do a better job of that. I don't think I'm going to be casting eight spells for Lee Sin. Okay, now the two paths. Um, this path is, like, the thing about this Nautilus board is there are like with these choices there's like some of these that are like really difficult uh and so you want to avoid them like this is one that's really difficult round start if you if they have more units than we do we you just obliterate our weakest thing like that can get like it that can get very out of hand if um you know maybe you just have more units than them the whole time and then never does anything you know and then the, cool but it can just get really out of hand and you can just lose so it's a high variance one this one's not too bad so we're, we're gonna go this way where um our weakest ally gets vulnerable each round not too not nearly as bad <laughs> okay so gone gone 
and we'll just send Justice Rider back also, because it's just four mana unit we don't need to keep right away. Yay, Caitlyn. Alright, so we can go Sting Officer into Caitlyn, and then Cataclysm to Caitlyn the next round. I like it. I don't want them to challenge the Sting Officer, so wait until after combat to play that. No! That's too bad. So another big problem here is that now Caitlyn will have Vulnerable at round start. So that's a problem. They can have their 4-2 challenge for Caitlyn. Or the 4-5. Uh, guess we just kill the 4-2? Mm, yeah, I guess so. Other option would just be playing, you know, like, one of these thing, one of these units out, letting the Caitlyn die. Uh, you know, or you're know, just playing like Gallant Rider and challenging with the Gallant Rider the next round and turning Gallant Rider into a 5 5. But I think we'll go and give them some more flash bombs and kill this. What's up, Dark Fortress? Thank you. Monsoil says, I love the PvE content. I appreciate that. I love making the PvE content. It's my favorite to make, for sure. Oh, these marksmen. They're killing me. That's not a bad draw. Oh, we, we did get them the two flash bombs in one car, but we needed them to both go on the same thing. Not go on separate things. Uh, I'll just pass. Five. All right, we at least killed something. There's a scent in the air. Can't afford to miss. I'm always on the right side of things. Joke to bait. All right, so we know that top card is not going to have any. Flash bomb traps. All right, and then we'll shoot one of these. We'll block that. Block that. Okay, everything trades. We'll have five cards. They'll have six. But to be honest, my cards aren't very good. The Jarvan's obviously very good. The other two aren't aren't any good. We know they have the Enraged Yeti, which is very good. I was hoping they were going to play Enraged Yeti right here and then we'd, we'd be able to kill Enraged Yeti. Twelve cards left. It's almost like, can we run them out of cards? Or Okay. Cataclysm could be nice. Prince Jarvan, the Vanguard is here for you. You are a sight for sore eyes, soldier. To arms! Gamasia! Okay, so the Gallant Rider turns into the Vanguard Cavalry, but still gets the plus one, plus zero, so it's, so it's able to kill the Toph. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Man, I really need this Jarvan to level up. It's at two out of three, and I don't know how I'm getting that third right now. Okay, Loof Trawlers is a great draw. Yeah, 
Yeah, so this is the Nautilus path, which is really tough, and that's just the enemy power, and that's for every single stage, that every unit that they have has tough the entire time. And that makes life so much more difficult whenever you're Caitlyn and trying to win with flash bombs and static shocks and all of this. It's kind of some nonsense. <laughs> Just giving them all it's up. Oh, there's Caitlyn. Alright, I'll just... I'll just pass. Man. Alright, yeah, that's leveled up. Ugh. I'll just pass. Kind of some nonsense. Practice, as they say, makes perfect. So Kaylin's a six-five. Oh, that's just like a permanent power that always has. Okay. All right, so we take another five. Uh, down to fifteen, or do we kill Jarvin? Who dares defy my will? We have to kill Jarvin. Probably shouldn't go down to 15. Here's my calling card. Yeah, never mind. It, yeah, it's just, yeah, I just kind of forgot about it. It's just a power that has all the time. Suspicious activity detected just outside the station. Stay on him. Back up's on the way. All part of the plan. A foray into the field? How exciting. So I'm at eight cards left. Play that, draw a card, make it a 3-2. Sting officer. Notify patrol to close in on this location. Alright, so Sting Officer can put on there. And now you know, any of these kill the Rhyme Fang Wolf. Okay. We're looking good now. Alright, so we're at 20. We have a million flash bomb traps. Give him Jarvan. Okay, through the second fight. Yeah, could have got Lee Sin uh, with this one, but didn't. Or I guess Lee Sin has his own, but like Lee Sin was one of the support champions. I chose Jarvan over Lee Sin, but um, no, I haven't. I haven't really tried any of the Bilgewater or Ionia champs here in the Path of Champions yet. Poppy with Quick Attack. I will take Poppy with Quick Attack. Thank you. Thank you. That's going to be nice. We get some gold. Now we can spend our gold. Bacillus Grider with plus three, plus one. And then we already know it's going to get another plus one. Oh, it doesn't get the Overwhelm unless you hit the Allegiance, which obviously we won't hit the Allegiance. Uh, so it's just going to be a... Just a big four drop. We don't need that. Um, don't need any of these things. Poro Cano with Predict. Don't really need. Even though that does give you two, two, one. It does give you two, two, one elusive. So we can discard like the uh, four mana, the Static Shock, right? Like we can discard Static Shock with that. So Vanguard Redeemer with Barrier. Yeah, Redeemer Barrier is not so bad. The Barrier just doesn't matter though with the Vanguard Redeemer. Like, that's not a very good card ever. Because, you know, you want, like, your units to die, and then you play Vanguard Redeemer. So that assumes that you were already in combat, something died, then you play Vanguard Redeemer to draw, and so then, like, the barrier doesn't matter because it already was in combat. So it's just, like, normal Vanguard Redeemer, basically. I'm going to buy the reroll token. I always buy a reroll token. And I think I'm just going to pass on all this, honestly. We'll just pass. Okay. Uh, whenever a player goes deep, create a treasure in their hand, and the Scar Grounds. The Scar Grounds, really difficult. And in particularly really difficult for this, 
for for Caitlyn for this champion because your flash bomb traps, you know, they survive damage, and so like you're adding on to the power of the units, and so if they play like a Scar Mother Verena and they're adding on the power, that can get absurd. So we're gonna be going the other way. <laughs> You know, so that's the thing about this, like I was talking about, like with this um, adventure with Nautilus, you kind of want to avoid some things. What's up, Mordecai? Yeah, we are trying the Nautilus track with Caitlyn. Um, Mulligan, Mulligan. I'm sorry, like Jarvan's cool, but I just don't want to keep the six drop. But this is a good Jarvan level also, but maybe, so maybe we keep the six drop? I guess we don't need to keep aloof travelers. I guess we can send all this back and just keep Jarvan. Figure it out from there. Which attempt? Uh, second attempt. We did attempt one time yesterday, and I I messed up the Nautilus battle, and I'll talk about that more whenever we get to the Nautilus battle. But I went for I went for trying to mill Nautilus to win instead of like normal damage, and it was just definitely the wrong decision. And so I, I messed that up. All right, able to get the sea scare out of here. That's good. And we got Poppy with Cataclysm with Quick Attack. See, this is awesome. <laughs> Poppy Cataclysm Quick Attack. Because then that's oh, I guess no, I guess for for Poppy to level up. Poppy has to attack with the allies. So Cataclysm is not going to attack with allies. Okay, so you only turn into just a 4-3. Alright, so let's have you kill you. Yeah, that should work. You still get the plus one, plus one when it attacks, but it won't level up. You know, that's not like one out of three towards the level up, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know. Now you're a 5-4. I mean, that's such a good trade for them. Maybe I don't actually do that. So we're not leveling up, Poppy. But we're growing stuff. All right, now Poppy pretty big. And or I could play Caitlyn plus Cataclysm. Or I just get Jarvan in play. Yeah, okay, we want to play Caitlyn. Yeah. Bottom the trail. And then we're going to... So, figure it out. We're going to play Caitlyn. We're going to save our spell mana. Ready, hammer? One step ahead. All right, so that's the first attack for Poppy with with other units, but... It's like, they have to play Devour next round. Oh no, my Caitlyn's gonna die! Who is that? No, Caitlyn. I'll never let go. Uh, I guess we'll still have enough mana for Cataclysm plus Jarvan. I should have played that Sting Officer first. I didn't realize I'd have enough mana still. I could have... Could have saved the Caitlyn. Treasure Trove? Man, this got absurd real fast. This Sea Scarab card is insane. Alright, so let's have you challenge you. Yeah. That's why I wanted to save this to this round so we can Cataclysm. Oh, come on! Really? Harsh Winds was the Treasure Trove card? So now we don't get the buff. Yeah. Wait, was this a Treasure Trove card? Are you kidding me? 
what is life? What is this? Do your worst. Can we like mill him out? Man, this took such a wrong turn from like just a little bit ago. Now I'm just gonna be trying to mill him. You know, gonna just be trying to mill him out. You dropped something. I dropped everything. And then hopefully that's their last card. Now pass. They lose. Okay, out of cards. Whew, that was close. That was close. We had some people come in. Nihat Abi, hello, hello. Yo, Nick. Um, so what's our power? Our power is all of our units have plus one, plus zero. I don't want any of these. I guess we could take a Vanguard Sergeant. You're too expensive. You're too expensive. So sergeant or reroll? So sergeant's just gonna be, you know, a little three, four for three, which isn't bad, which I guess with the plus one plus zero, so it's a four, four for three with overwhelm, four, four overwhelm. Makes a four Demacia that could be useful. All right, all right, we can mess with that. Okay, we can go towards salvage or champion item. Champion item. Champion items are good because then you get more champions in your deck. Minus one cost. Yes, please. Minus one cost to Caitlyn because we would want more Caitlyns. But minus one cost to Poppy. Uh, no, we just want... I think we want two mana Caitlyn. I wish... Uh, yes. Oh, I have to select... I had the border I thought I was selecting. I wish we could like take the treasure and then also re-roll and get another one and so on. Alright, we're about to face Sejuani. We can either heal 7 or... Oh, man. Usually I would heal 7 here. But cutting Static Shock would be really nice. We're still at, we're at 20 health. I, hopefully we can get through Sejuani at 20 health. But cutting Static Shock... That's really good. Because it's just... It's such a useless card. You know, it's 4 mana deal 1 to the Nexus draw card. <laughs> you know, it's... Uh, it's... Yeah, it's such a dead card here with everything having tough. So hopefully 20 life is enough to defeat Sejuani. It's definitely good getting that out of here. Alright, what do we got? We got 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, we definitely want our champions, though. Let's send you back and you back. And I guess you also. We want our champions. Give me a Caitlyn. Give me a poppy. I brought my books. Hope that's all right. Seventeen. I could see the aloof travelers being, you know, good against Sejuani though, but I guess we'll, we'll probably make them discard. All right, so that thing's ephemeral, so we're not going to be attacking with this dude academic. I could. We'd probably make them discard, like, the Tusk Raider, which I don't really care about the Tusk Raider very much. So Sejuani, I want to make them discard. These old eyes still seem hard. That card it's still annoying. Um, I guess I'm playing this double agent. I'm always on the right side of things. Because we have to just save six life. So that card has to go away. And then the double agent blocks the Protoporo better. Caitlyn! Zahn taught me to never let my guard down. Smell that bark? Yeah. Well, what have we here? Okay. So I think I'll just attack like this. So we get a 5-4 and a 6-5. 
I don't, I guess Caitlyn doesn't have to be a 6-5, because they're probably blocking Caitlyn anyway, right? So we can just attack like that. Just make sure we have... Which, maybe I should hit with Caitlyn first before drawing? They're still at 20? that. Don't take any overwhelm damage. I can see them drawing two flash bombs here and just this card just dying. That'd be nice. Two? Yes! Oh, and the level's up, Caitlyn! And now we're going to be able to put Jarvan in. I think we could maybe kill Sejuani. Kill Sejuani before they play Sejuani? <laughs> I shouldn't have, because of frostbite. I didn't. I didn't even think about like the sting officer stuff. Okay, but before because of frostbite, I should have supported a little differently. But that will do. GG. So the question is: Stack shock playable in PvP? Absolutely, and it's usually a good card in this mode. Usually, but specifically in this adventure where all their units have tough, you just don't need it because you know it's only doing the one damage. So this is. So this is just, uh, but normally it's a good card. Normally. So Vanguard Defender, eh. Pompous Cavalier, eh. Wolf Rider, you get two Wolf Riders. So the second Wolf Rider plunders a play, not a summon. So the second Wolf Rider will not get an empty mana gem. I think I'm just going to reroll this, honestly. Because we have a lot of fours now. You know, like, we have, we, like, we've added Poppy, we've added Aloof Travelers, we already started with the, the regular 3-4. Like, these are just all real generic bodies that I don't really want. Okay, so we can get more aloof travelers, and now they'll be big. Because they already have plus one, plus zero, because of our power. So they'll be four, six. So it'll be four, six? Yeah, I like four, six aloof travelers. We'll take that. We get a new power. Hopefully something cool. <gasps> mana flow! Yes! Mana flow! All right. Get an empty mana gem at the start, start a game. So we can go round one Caitlyn now, because we made our Caitlyn cost one less, and now we have mana flow. Wow. All right, so they have Nexus Strike, draw a card, whatevs. Or we can fight a bunch of Poros. I'm thinking we fight the Poros, because this is an epic item chest over here. It's a rare gold chest. I don't care about gold. Oh, but that's a champion item chest. I love champion items. Ooh. Do we want to go towards the champion item or the epic item? Like, regular item. Because champ our champions are great. You know, Caitlyn, Poppy, Jarvan. We want more copies of our champions. All of our champions are great. So I kind of want to go towards the champion item. Yeah, I'm going to go towards the champion item. I, I just want more copies of our champions. All right, let's see, Caitlyn. Caitlyn! Yes. All right, we probably don't need the second Caitlyn. <laughs> Just 5-4 Caitlyn. So you get to play around one. I guess if our Caitlyn takes damage, I guess we can block with Caitlyn really well too. Because remember, our Caitlyn, if it takes damage, gets plus two plus two. So they like they attack, and we take damage. All right, you can go glorious battle over there, over there, over there. I don't want to take any damage. I mean, it's only two, but I just don't think that. I want to have as highest life total possible. And I feel like. 
feel like we'll be able to win this without even without that sting officer. Scoping the area. There's always fighting eight punch Pablo. Look, a thing. L, that's not ours. Okay, let me check. I think the audio is desynced. So what they do? You've been warned? I don't really know how they're killing my Caitlyn. Oh, what am I do? What am I doing? All right, back to paying attention again. We're still fine. We should be just fine. Yeah, we got big aloofs. Okay. So we could 10, 17. 17 plus 6 is 23. So it's not quite lethal. If I just attack and put Jarvan into play. Alright, we'll still just do it. I considering just playing aloof travelers first. But we'll just do this. I'm not quite lethal. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Oh, hopefully they give me priority. Oh, they have a second one. They only got one trap this round. All right, hopefully they give me priority again. Yes, they gave me priority again. Haha, -ha. we did it. We gave them. An, we got them to draw a second trap. So now it's two. We got priority. Got to strike with Caitlyn, deal two, lethal, and now we don't have to take the other elusive damage. Yes, it's still at 30. Satisfactory outcome. Yeah. Quick attack, Jarvan. I don't know if that's really that necessary, but that gives me just another copy of Jarvan in the deck. That's what I really like about it. Mystic Shot. Eh, just isn't very good in this mode. With everything having tough, Sting Officer can give another plus one plus one, so that's kind of cool. But I'm going to just go quick attack Jarvan and just get another Jarvan. That allows me to mulligan my Jarvan more and still have it show up more. Champion item. Overwhelm Caitlyn. Yeah. I think we'll overwhelm Caitlyn because Caitlyn's already attacking for so much damage all the time. Uh, we could spell shield Caitlyn, though, also. like that's That'd be pretty nice to make sure that Caitlyn's protected. Um... Because, you know, like, against Nautilus, they can, like, play a Nautilus, and then they have Nautilus Champion spell that puts, you know, puts the card back into your deck. And that's very annoying, so Spell Shield can protect against that. Um, but the Overwhelm, also good. Let's go with, we'll go with the Overwhelm. Ooh, Epic Item Shop. Spend some of this gold. So after this, let's see. Okay, we're going to have, like, one battle, and then... All right, so let's spend our gold, maybe our rerolls. All right, so Sting Officer also plants three poison puff caps. What do you do when I'm summoned? Create a fleeting copy of me in hand. Oh, that's always pretty good. Like where you can just we can just flood the board. You know, like round three we have three mana. For example, we can just like play three as two academics. All right, we're gonna purchase a reroll token. We'll have Sting Officer. I don't. I just don't know. Like three puff caps just isn't very many puff caps. We might as well buy it. We have six ninety. So that gives me two forty left. Ugh, in that big. Oh, I'm gonna cast someone a follower with my cost from your regions. I don't know. So Piltover Peacemakers just make random three drops. The thing that I'm not sure about this, because it just says buy stronger copies of the cards. Does it like add additional copies also? I guess it does, because now we have three of these. Because that's the thing, is like, you know, I don't I don't really want a third Piltover Peacemaker. That's what I wasn't sure about with this. 
Alright, I think we can use one more reroll. Aloof Traveler is when I'm summoned plant two flash bomb traps. Yeah. Alright, I sh should have double checked that. Because, like, right now we have four Aloof Travelers. Oh, when cast draw card? Oh, I want another Cataclysm, though. Cataclysm's great for us. I guess it's only two flash bomb traps. That's not that valuable. We'll we'll have Cataclysm draw cards. So we can get another Cataclysm. Yep. So yeah, it does give you the the additional copy. So we went from two to three. Okay. All right. We still have one uh, trap later. Okay. So Jaw Hunters. This one is insane. This one round start. Each player gets a mana gem. Okay. This because like this this does so much stuff there. Like you know like. They get to like make their sea monsters cost less and toss a bunch and all this all this crazy stuff. So I always like going this way, where sure we just get some extra mana gems, but we can we can figure out how to use those mana gems. Yeah, Vanguard Sergeant can use mana gems, but I want champions. I want champions. I don't know. We'll keep a. We'll keep one Vanguard Sergeant. We can play round one Vanguard Sergeant. Round two, we can play like four astute academics. Or I guess five astute academics. The is worth ten foes. And then. It's not a bad power. Attack! So our next attack token will have Fort Demacia. Fort Demacia! Grand Antonio! Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Yo, that's big. Alright. So they kill, what, my 4 4? That was kind of useless. I smell a rat. Zon taught me to never let my guard down. It's not as easy when you have no champions, that's for sure. This is honestly not that great for us. We can just block all these. So we're gonna we're gonna kill the Uzgar. And I'm just trying to think of like who should I use to kill the Uzgar. I guess maybe just one of these astute academics. But if I attack with the Sting Officer, we can at least give them three more puff caps. Um, or we could play the double agent and attack with the double agent and draw a card. But the double agent can block. Yeah, we'll just have the double agent block. So we'll just have you. So this thing's got like overwhelm. Finally found a champion. I can see all the players from here. And so, like, you know, once once those buffs go away, the double agent's the largest thing to block. Oh, did, did the Feral Mist get... How did you just, like, regen? I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Anywho. Uh, that thing's a 5-5 five, five tough. We could have you challenge you. No, they, they'd already had 10 mana. Oh, did they... Because I killed... I don't know. They they had 10 mana last round, because they that thing was a really big last round. But then they had, like, Weirding Stones to get to 10 mana. So maybe because they don't have Weirding Stones anymore, they went, like, down to 9. And then back to 10. I don't know. It's, I don't know what happened there. Nature 
Yeah, because they, they had temporary mana, so then they went, so then they came back. take six. Don't love taking six, but that's that's life. Speaking of man, if we had one more, we could just Mystic Shot that thing and save six life. So it looks like we're... So Nautilus is the next battle after this. It looks like we're going to be at 24 life heading into Nautilus. That's my guess. We made it. Yay. What What's up, Poppy? Ah, uh, add another one of those. I smell rat. I'll never see these coming. So put him down to four. I only have eleven. You drop some Puff caps. We have a mystic shot that can do two. All right, they take one there. Hopefully one more puff cap here. Fifteen cards, ten puff caps. Puff cap? No, no puff cap. Oh come on, another ten power? Overwhelm? Hmm. Oh, let's see what happens. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why they wouldn't attack, but. All right, so if Caitlyn does. How much damage? Three damage right there. Will that hopefully end the game before we take more Overwhelm over here? Hopefully. Can we just stay at 19? Hopefully we just stay at 19 and not 15 because the game is already over. I don't know. If, I don't know. Hopefully it's 19, not 15. Yes! You can pickaxe Caitlyn. Add another Caitlyn to the deck. <laughs> Caitlyn has so many buffs. Okay, what do you do? When I'm summoned, I capture the strongest enemy. Oh, that's actually a really good power. That's actually a really good power. But it's on Gallant Rider, like one of my worst units. Like one of the... Probably the worst card left in my deck. But that can just, like, capture a Nautilus. Like, that's awesome. Welcome back, you the best. So I guess we're going to take that, because that's such a good power. Okay, yes, we are at 19, not 15. Good. All right, we can either cut the Piltover Peacemaker, which is useless, or heal 7. So should we be at 26? Or cut a useless pilt over Peacemaker. I kind of think we just cut the card. Is that worth 7 health? 7 health's a lot, but getting a useless card out of the deck is pretty good. Alright, we cut the card. So we have 38 cards. And we have 5 Caitlyn's. 2 Poppies, 3 Jarvins. So we have 10 Champions out of 38. Okay, I forgot to say that. Alright, so we're facing Nautilus, and so Nautilus has whenever any unit dies, mine or theirs, heal the foe's Nexus 1, and the foe tosses 1. And so last time, whenever we did this yesterday, I made the mistake of thinking, okay, well they're going to be tossing 1 every time that either of our units die, um, and they're already playing cards that toss anyway, and so I went for like just trying to mill them out, and I forgot about how Nautilus puts, like when you play Nautilus, puts all those cards back into the deck, and, you know, <laughs> that was, ended up being a mistake by me going for that route. All right, final, final boss time. You can go. Um, man, Aloof Travelers, you're good. And you're good against not, like, all these cards are good, but they're not my champions, right? Like, we have five Caitlyn's. I really, really want Caitlyn. I guess, all right, you go also. And, uh, 
These are two two of my better non-champion cards, though. All right, send them back. Let's find Caitlyn. Yes. All right, buying the bullet. Because we have the attack token round one, and we can play Caitlyn round one with the attack token. It's a 7-4 Overwhelm, right? Like, I really wanted to find this card at the beginning of the game. You know, that attack did zero damage. <laughs> but we got that thing out of here. All right, let's save. Let's just save three spell mana for Cataclysm. I guess I could play three Astute Academics. All right, never mind. We're doing this. So Loot Traveler is going to be a 4-6. Is that worth playing before combat? I think so. I think it's worth playing a 4-6 before you combat. Dropped something. I dropped something. I dropped everything! Awesome. Got rid of a blocker, too. Okay. Sapling Burst isn't scary. Sapling Burst isn't scary. Uh, that's a little annoying. They were doing a lot of damage. They had that Terror Tides as aloof protection. Yeah, you can you can kill my little two ones now. That's fine. Oh, that thing's annoying. Uh, I guess we're gonna go here. Here. We'll shoot the one that's <clears throat> challenging the two health unit. My Toss up a lot of cards. 27 damage? I don't think I'm attacking for 27. You level up. Yeah, so now open attack with Jarvan's gonna be a lot of damage, but I don't know about 27 a lot. So Caitlyn's 10, so 10, 17, plus 6, so 23. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's still just the best play. Yeah, yeah, that, that's definitely the best play. Because I didn't think about it, but yeah, that gives me um, Cataclysm again. So next round, we can Cataclysm the Caitlyn. No! We can still Cataclysm Kaelin, but just new Kaelin, I guess. <clears throat> um... Ooh, they didn't play... They didn't play Nautilus. Well, what have we here? And because I want to Cataclysm Caitlyn, because Caitlyn has Overwhelm. For the king? Let's go! We defeated Nautilus! I must say, a satisfactory outcome. Yeah. Okay. Defeat the hardest level with Caitlyn, with all their stuff having tough. That is a tough adventure. Uh, when I'm summoned, stun the strongest enemy. Okay, okay. It's a pretty nice... And that's a common? That's a good relic item. Titan of the Depths. C health, B speed, A... Or C... Yeah, C health, B speed, A wealth. Alright, so the Titan of the Depths has been uh, vanquished. And, uh, you know, we won there with Caitlyn against Nautilus. Awesome. So now it's just Victor. Now Victor is the only champion left. And then, as always, after you defeat um, Victor and you have... Let's see... Let's unlock that. Get my 10% gold. Ooh, 30 away from a common relic slot. After you defeat Caitlyn, or after you defeat Victor, because that's the last of the adventures here, 
you can still go back and replay them. Like, they're still good replayability. Because, you know, you can continue to go back, replay them, get more reputation, level up your champion, and then once you get to, like, level 22, you start with mana flow. Like, that's awesome. And, and you know, it makes these easier. And the reason to do all that is so that then you can go back and try to get your uh, S tier badges on all of them. Because that's like, you know, if you want to, if you want a challenge, that's where you get your challenge. You know, like we, we just beat uh, Nautilus, but we had C, B, and A for like these badges. So trying to go back and beat Nautilus and get S, you know, on all of these. Now, of course, they don't have to be in the same run. You can have like a S run with the health and S run with the wealth, you know, and so on. So that's the thing to do after you go through all of them is uh, try to get S tier because, um, you know, if that's, of course, if you want to challenge, there's no there's no um, prizes, you know, for doing that. You do get like the additional every day you get additional um, XP for doing these. But that's like, uh, you know, if you want to challenge, basically, and you want to if you're somebody who's a completionist, you know, try doing that. All right, but that's going to be it for uh, Caitlin vs. Nautilus. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And let me know if you've been struggling with this adventure. I've heard a lot of people are. i heard people wanted to watch this one. So hopefully this helped you out, um, you know, seeing it done. Uh, yeah, hopefully you could take get some takeaways. We did get lucky for sure. You know, we got a poppy with quick attack. We got the cataclysms to go along with it. Um, you know, we got the mana flow. But that's the thing. Like, every run's different. You know, maybe we'd get lucky with something else, you know, if we try again. Um, but hopefully you're finding some powerful stuff to help you out. All right. Uh, but as always, uh, thank you so much for watching. Can't ever say that enough. And I will see you for the next video.